I'm about to catch your body on you, baby. It's going down. I'm about to catch your body. You are about to catch your body. You ain't careful. I am back with the Seventeen Magazine. Uh oh, let me turn off the blinker light. Sorry. Uh oh. Anyway, I got the blue pot charm, mm, mm, mm. and this kind is cherry, the cherry blow pop. I'm going to suck on this while I look at the magazine. I am so excited, you guys. It just came in the mail today, so I am videotaping. I'm waiting for my video to upload. I just uh, finally, I've been having problems trying to upload one of my magazine videos i've been trying to get this video up now this is going to be the third day you guys i'm just hoping that it actually uploads but while that's uploading i am going to look through this magazine and i hope you guys enjoy it Go ahead, May. Miss May, looking good. Go ahead, girl. Fashion, mix it up. Pool for the summer suit for the summer. Dress up. Fifty dollars and under. Mm. Mm. I like this right here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I would wear this, big legs and all. Yes, I would. Yeah, yes, Queen. The artist get real about her music, her relationship with Charlie Poot and her confident struggle. Mm hmm that's cute now this is super freaking cool like it says containerstore.com slash college let me tell you something I'm definitely going to go check them out but this is what I need my makeup area to look like I love it. Oh my god. Michelle. Michelle on a mission. I still haven't ate that Chipotle. I still haven't tried them. Everything worth posting about. Must share now. Crush alert, Olivia Hope. A Disney Channel, a little 18 star inquiry movie. We hear has an album. On the way this far. Hmm. Tell your ex in an apocalypse. Tell to argue. Hmm. 
I'm this character right here. Because I will be using the wings to fly and keep flying. I'm a guy and I'm a feminist. He opened up and said why he's not afraid to use the F word. Hmm. Hmm. Let me see what he's talking about. I was saying that I'm a feminist when I was younger. I just didn't know that what it was called. I was raised to be I was raised by a single mom. So women's rights were part of my upbringing and very important to me. My mom, a medical anesthesiologist, is a historian, was an example that women can do anything that men can do. But many of the guys in my hometown in Idaho were a bit uh, misogynistic and believed women should have only certain jobs and responsibilities, such as cooking, cleaning. When I heard people make comments like that to my mom or my aunt, it was hard. It ignited a spark in me to show them how fine they were. They were. Mm. Oh, that smells really, really good. I know I smelled it before, but whew, this is the closest I'm going to be able to get to it. A flirty thread with spotty sneakers, glam, germs, and girl lace to be created by combining lots of fashion feel into a single hashtag outfit of the day. Mm hmm. Cute. It's so cute. Uh uh. That ain't working. Uh uh. Check out her hat. Or well, sun visor. That's cute. Oh, so fucking cute. Oh my god. Oh, that is too cute. Oh, look at this one. This one's high waisted. Mm -hmm. Oh, cute. That's what I would need. Oh my god, I love it. Girl, stop. Mm -mm -mm. That not speak sexy. Mm -mm. Yes, honey. Yes. She got all the booty out. Isn't this cute? She's a full figure model, but she looks super cute. Go ahead, girl. Mm -hmm. Confidence. Yep. I just bought some of that.
I showed you, I showed it to you in my grocery haul. I know a lot of you won't see that because you don't watch the videos, which I do understand. I love those. I love these. They they super cute. Oh my god. You know what? My daughter would say, Mom, take them off right now. Sometimes she make me feel like she gonna throw me in jail with the way I dress. <laughs> but I, I like those. They cute. I'd probably buy some sketches only because I saw Sugar Ray in them. Yeah. If he wasn't so fine, I, um, he looked so good in them sketches. Mm. I think with that, no, do I have this? I'm not sure, but I think I got that. Yeah. If I don't, I sure need it. Oh, that's my girl. She's so cute. Step one, to find your creases. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. I like that one. Make it pop. Number three, add accent. Number four, clean it up. What? <laughs> yes, honey. I need to tear this page out and put it right on my mirror. Mm -hmm. mm. How many of us trying to work out for this for the summer? Ain't gonna make no difference. We trying though, right? We trying. Mm. Oh Lord, I wish that was me right now. I wish that was me. Jesus. What is all this? Completely bare. Razor bumps. Hmm. Relax and wax. Hey, I just want to be in that tub. Oh my God, my stomach growling. Embarrassing. I love her hair. Like, I truly love her hair. It's beautiful. Mm. Oh, nice color nails. Mm -hmm. So pretty.
We're just gonna pretend it was on the stage. <sighs> Bloom with benefits for brain health, for bloating, for flawless skin, for energy. What's this? Number one. Put on your happy face. Bug by RBF. The easy way to get the ball rolling is to simply smile. Wolf say, study proves it's literally catalyst and that reason enough to try it out. Watch your body language. Again, because Simon, there's evidence of a link between the way you carry yourself and your approachability. Don't cross your arms and stand up straight all those things you've been told. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay. Find common ground. Point out some based on your surroundings that you can both talk about. Wolf says... It's a strategy that works with almost anything. Close her up for the night with your new boss. Ask about her first or job or crazy customer experience. Number four, be clever. Yes, you can talk about the weather, but if you want to go to the next level, we we'll suggest an opposite track attack. If there's a heat wave, ask what? No coke and bill wit can be. The best first move. <laughs> okay. Question everything. You can totally warm up by asking about something personal. Like the song they love ATM on the last book they read. When you show you care about what's going on, it makes a person feel interesting and willing to speak. Wolf says. Listen to Wolf. Know the news. Headlines affect everyone. So think of the last trending topic you saw can break a free-flowing conversation. Just steer clear of sensitive topics like politics. Listen, don't ever talk about politics and then don't ever when you first meet a person. You don't want to get into an intense too quickly. And you would definitely get into a debate. Definitely. Play up the arc. If there's any tension in the ear, just flat out address it. Acknowledging that you both feel uncomfortable will actually cancel it out. Wolf says, one on one silence with your crush. Try well. This is awkward. No, really, it works. <laughs> Be corny. Ironically, of course, for non romantic interest, use a glitch. I think that's what it's a glitchy line. Or try, or you again will say, keeping these light and funny ass tons of ease. Pay a compliment. Lotta shows you are observant and will give the other person a compliment saying, I love your two. I love your, I love your top. Or, you're so thoughtful, you opened the door for me. Works well, she says well. And number 10, connect the dots. If that's mutual friend, call out on social media has taught you anything. There's a high chance you know some of the same people. Use the way you meet people. Use both know as a jumping off point sets for. Hmm. Okay. Says well. Okay. Check out our girl again. Mm -mm. I'm telling you, I can't get enough of this picture. And it is on spot. Look at her. All right, girl. 
Hmm. Yep, she definitely super cute. Look at her. I can see why she done took over the magazine. Okay. Jessica Sch uh, Schroeder. Hmm. Ooh, look at them eyes. She is absolutely beautiful. Just pretty. Look at her. I'm liking everything. You know what? If it wasn't on her, I probably wouldn't even like it. She wearing these swimsuits. She is wearing them. Oh, I like her eye. Condoms, pills, a needle. I think it's this. Don't feel embarrassed about birth control. We can help. Oh. Oh, well. Lord 17 magazines got so much great information. Mm -hmm. Not your territory. My best friend and I love Star Wars, and we went, we had a final week tradition where she writes, may the force on her palm, and I write, be with you on mine. On the last day of the exam, my crush kissed the back of my hand, farewell, and then pressed my palm to his cheek. It was hot, and my hand was sweaty. So when I pulled it away, I saw a big ink stain on his face, as if me being sweaty weren't gross enough. I was so embarrassed. <laughs> that I, pret <laughs> I pretended not to notice how over his friends did and they totally made fun of him. <laughs> oh my God. I was at the beach with my friend, and those hot guys were checking us out. Feeling bold, I went over to introduce myself. I was chatting with one guy and flirting hard, playing with my hair, laughing, touching his arm, and I really thought he was into me until he asked for my best friend's number. Ouch. My bruised ego wouldn't let me give it to him. <laughs> That sucks. My crush and I was sitting in his car waiting to pick up sushi when he learned in for our first or when he leaned in for our first kiss. Miss Smooch, I accidentally burped. <laughs> I accidentally broke in his mouth. He was shocked and I was so humiliated. We sat there in an awkward silence until I looked at my phone and pretended my mom needed me. <laughs> he me home ASAP. He drove me back saying sushi we never spoke again and then parking lot still haunt me oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god i wonder if he remember it we had a pool party to kick off the summer and everyone from school was going i was so excited to get out the pool that i changed into my swimsuit and cover up really quickly and bolted outside I didn't realize until I took off my cover that cover up that I had put on my one piece backwards. The back was low cut, so the modest swimsuit ended up being a super revealing. I ran inside the chain, but everyone had already gotten an eyeful. Um, it's a pool party. They they probably already over that. They don't need. Mm -mm. I was sitting in class when the room fell silent and I turned the door worksheet. Oh, 
I turned the door and a hop substitute teacher came walking in. He handed out worksheets and let the class have a fun free day. We all had our phone, music, and food out within seconds. I got a text from my friend complaining about how boring her class was. And I replied, I have the hottest sub ever today. She requested in typical boy crazy fashion that I, what is that, slyly? It looked like it said slyly send her a photo. But when I snapped the picture, the flash went off. The classroom felt silent again, and this time I was the prime focus. The sub then asked the class to please refrain from any and all flash photographs. I sank into the <laughs> I sank into a shell of shame. But at least I got the pick. I know that's right. Oh Lord, I had the hottest teacher in high school. Oh, he was Caucasian, blonde hair, blue eyes, pink lips. He was skinny. Oh my God, it should be against the law to have hot teachers like that teaching young, horny, young teenagers. <laughs> oh my God, he was hot, man. Okay. And you know what? I find in so much trouble, he put me out the class. And I just stand outside the class looking in the glass, looking at him. I didn't even care. I got his attention. Okay. It's just Leo. Can't even begin to describe this month, Leo. Me as a 10th year old achieve a dream. You've been working towards forever. Prepare for moments in the spotlight and bask in the glory. You are so deserve it. Then after the 20th, you'll spend most of your time celebrating with friends. Isn't made the best. Oh, oh my God. My daughter's here, y'all. I gotta go. Wait, wait, wait. Um, let me see if this downloaded right. You guys, my video finished. It finally uploaded to my computer. Oh, what's this? My daughter brought me something. Mmm. It's a pastry. Like that's chocolate. Mm. Is that chocolate? Yeah. Mm, that looks so good. Thank you. Okay. Now, oh my God, did y'all hear that? My heart's going to sound absolutely great. They said that something, what it said, going to happen around the 10th, that I will achieve, achieve my dream that I've been working towards forever. I don't know. Is something great going to happen with my ASMR? Washington. Yeah, I am hooked on scandal right now, you guys. I am hooked on scandal for real. What the world? Is this upside down? Why is this book? Okay, this is the second time this don't happen to me. This is getting weird. Okay, I'm going to have to turn it around. It's upside down. <laughs> so, oh my God, this is crazy. I'm going to have to go backwards, I guess. This, what the freak? Hey. Well, anyway, I got to go for share another magazine video with me. I enjoyed it, and I will see you again next time. That, that is such a sweet picture. Okay, you guys.